yo. I ain't gonna be on much anger. Yeah, I know you finna catch a little nappy nap. I just had to see what it was looking like. Damn, I ain't seen this shit forever. Look at y'all, Starfleet City, okay? Yes, and calm. And calm. That movie. That movie. Mm -hmm. We're Admiral. Well, they too, they got this one. Deja vu. Damn, one of these guns. Damn, all them damn guns. Get one this this month, man. Cyber Monday is today. Go grab one. Can you hear me now? You stupid with the words. I'm about to go. I'm about to go in seven seconds. But yeah, you see that PVP task force operation? I know what the hell they be using now, yo. I know what gear they be using now. Yeah. Like they don't use like it's still faction gear, but they don't use they use one faction gear. Listen up. And it's that competitive it's that competitive shit. We're that you fucking motherfuckers up in PvP. Just saying. 
Yeah, this is the original Starbase, supposedly Starbase One. The first Starbase. Starbase. Here they come. Especially by your 
yourself, you always gotta use your freaking special shit. I noticed you got a lot of, uh, you got a lot of abilities you don't really activate until, until you need them. Yeah. I got you a lot of have them. Well, bro. Well, except for my engineer, but my science, I got a lot of them. I know, but I just I like doing it that way because I don't like running through my energy all like that. I'll be having a yeah, I'll be having a set. I know, I know. I'll be on my other ship I got on set the auto. Like I said, I just don't really like that. I like to set my, I like to do it myself, you know what I mean? Set it whenever I need it. Yeah, you know, I don't really like that. I don't really like that. That's what I'm saying. You should hop on for a sec, bro. I'll run you through these nukes. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to get up on here, bro. You're going to be sick as hell. You're going to be relying on everybody else. Because your ship going to be squishy as hell. I go to battle ship right there. He still ain't at his mastery level though. So. And then I ain't got no faction uh gear on it either, so that's that, you know. Come on, y'all don't see this motherfucker battle shit. Those things I create. You see that shit, and I just freaking went through that bitch. Ooh, we just completed that shit. Do they got anything? Battlefield the map. They got nothing. Jim Harders, you can get Jim Harders ships now, man. Like the big boys, big boys. I'm telling you, you're missing now, bro. You should hop on. Yeah, I don't even have a game. 
Oh yeah, you right. You said that shit to your library. Yep, and then I went for that, this next part of the uh, Age of Discovery to come out. Come out. Oh, I'm gonna go with I go the end. I think I go the end. I need I go the end. The show of the Sabbath will leave in only 30 hours. That she expects everybody to get back there at about 12. When they just got to work. And then they gonna have to figure it out and take the day off. Who wait till I get this shit, bro? It's called continue continuity. When you reduce to less than 10% of your haul, you will immediately be removed from danger. Your ship will teleport approximately 8 kilometers from its current location, become briefly untargetable, and have its haul and ship restored by a large amount. <laughs> How often does that happen, though? How often every time you get below 10% will reduce to less than 10% of your haul? No, it can't be every time. Uh, this effect may only trigger once every three minutes. Yeah, there you go. That means if they on your ass, then it's over with. <laughs> yeah, but if, it, but if it takes you eight kilometers and gives you a large haul and shield boost, bro, you're going to last three minutes. If you can't last three minutes, something's wrong. <laughs> Oh, 
all this shit I just unlocked to tier four access, more abilities, non-linear progression, store ship tree. Ah, so we got a tree, huh? That's crazy. Let's get back in the sink. have a new one. Gamma 
my ships. And one with, I forget who that is. Moth. Wild wire. That's a wild wire ship. Another dude in the temporal. He's like in a temporal freighter. Like a temporal. To this one is you wanna why these motherfuckers just watch me slide in like this why these motherfuckers just fight them off I'ma go ahead and turn as many on as possible before they catch on huh I mean, because a lot of people get so occupied in doing shit, and then the sad thing about it is, you know what I mean? Like once you once you're in like that red alert, you can't grab that shit. Like since I ain't in red alert, I try to go ahead and grab these motherfuckers before I get in red alert. Just to grab these motherfuckers so the mission can progress. You know what I mean? Cause I be hating that shit. You be stuck on the same progress. Wondering why these ads keep on popping up, popping up, popping up, popping up. And then you look and be like, oh, you gotta do this. Well, what? Well done. Now let's get on the ball. Let me drop my niggas out. It's not a lockbox. The satellite is back online. It will launch tractor mines against the Herc ships.
right behind me too, and I ain't even realize that shit. Ref head to escape route beta. Protect the refugee ships. This bitch do not turn good at high speed. That's all I'm saying. You gotta turn it to power to engines, bro. I know. But I hate doing that shit all the time. Herc's ship bro, spotted at escape route up. Gamma. Get over there. Herc Dreadnought on sensors. Be careful. Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. We're speeding up the evacuation. All lanes will be utilized now. Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. that escape group Yama. Get over there.
Refutations and he can escape from Alpha. Protect us. Good thing I was grocery shopping yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm here. Escape route beta. Protect the refugee ships. Turf ships spotted at escape route gamma. Get over there. That's everyone. Yeah, so like, want to get you a new ship? These are some of That's the everyone. best maps to freaking build your motherfucking ships up on, boy. Because there's so much. You know what I'm saying? There's so many freaking enemies. Like, if you can't get you some damn experience points, something is wrong. You feel me? Yeah. It's just like DC though. Sometimes, sometimes them freaking they don't these these PVEs don't load up as fast. You know. Yeah, take a while. Like, see, look, this motherfucker should be straight right now. Yeah, I should be at least. I'm still. Hey, remember when people was, uh, people was switching on DC from PS3 to PS4, and everybody who had the PS4 was already in the game on the mission and they getting cracking? Yeah, I remember that shit. Was in the loading screen. Yeah. <laughs> And that shit cracked, and we're like, Where you at, yo? <laughs> oh, I'm just now getting in. Mm -hmm. Like, are we already at the ball battle? Yeah, see, right now I'm just going in between both these new ones to get these marks. Hold on one second. Bro. Hold on.
My UFO. No, no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> okay, thank you, babe. Thank you, babe. So, yeah, when I do my. I'm a rally. I got a lot of ships.
See, this is the new lock boxes are called the Infinity Lock Box and Swarm Lock Box. Now look. Now look. Yeah, you could buy you a pack of 20 lock boxes for 200 that lift you more. Or buy a pack of 20, a 20 pack swarm lock boxes. See, it says new. Joints. You know it. They hit hard too. Listen up. The war has not been going well for. Snap, someone got one. USS Discovery. Here they come.
the scatter radar move. But man, dude, I started doing so much damage just to kill me and stuff. In the vicinity of where I was shooting. Yeah, it's like that. Want it. I mean, I'm sure I'm just going to help the AOE. There's a break in incoming port signatures. We may have a short amount of time before more arrive. Ships incoming! Raiders and battle cruisers! Commander Universal Station, you don't want that. Lieutenant Universal Temporal Op Station. So I can use any operation, rather you tactical, science, or engineer. If you got the slash op, I can put you in this seat. Come the temporal op, if you got slash temporal op, I can put you in the seat. The commander engineering, you have to be an engineering. But it's an intelligence station, so you can have an engineering slash an intelligent officer. And then you use that, the, the mobilities. Trust me, you can't use them on any other ship but T6 bot ships. An evacuation ship is launching. Give them cover. Bot bot.
before everybody came in here. You've seen that, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a single lonely motherfucker over there by a dreadnought. Yeah, I know. I should have just let me be. I'd have killed him.
For you to buy really, really cheap, really, really cheap. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I mean, I got it on the market for now for five mil. Five mil. Only think I have five mil. Nah, I'll take the price down just for you. saying the Scarface remake might start Denzel Washington Rebel. The Herc are about to overrun this. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, 
Well done. The satellite is back online. It will launch tractor mines against the Herc ships. Herc ships spotted at escape route Gamma. Get the over there. The ref ah.
To escape Ruth Beta, protect the refugee ships. Door shields failing. Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. <laughs> We're speeding up the evacuation. All lanes will be utilized now. Earth ships spotted at escape from the Gamma. Get over there! Head to escape through Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. It happens. I've been telling you, man, you gotta retreat once you get down to about 20. It's time to pull. Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Refugee ships heading down escape route Alpha. Protect them.
spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. I don't think you did New, New Frontiers. You didn't do the Gamma Quadrant and the Age of Discovery. And they only got two for the Age of Discovery. Task Force Operation, that third one, that's, that's PVE. So they only got two missions up right now for Age of Discovery. I think you did, but did you do the full story mode of Future Proof? I believe so, I don't know. Because I remember, because you remember when Future Proof first came out, we only had Sunrise, Stormbound, and Time of Tide. And then when they dropped the rest of it, they dropped the Temporal Front, Temporal Reckoning, and Ragnarok. Right. Frontier has to do with the uh, Lucari. 
Because if you remember on uh, Future Proof, we helped the Lacore, tried to help him with Sunrise. Like, pretty much that was Ragnarok, or uh, that was pretty much what it was. But the ship on the Ragnarok, can't even get it right now. Like, nah, you can. The lock boxes that it's in, motherfuckers want like 80 mil for 20 pack. Yeah, A hundred mil. For the lock boxes that it's in. It's pretty much like the biggest fucking ship in the game. Damn. I mean, so far. I mean, it's the biggest, but it's not the most powerful as shit. But yo, in um, future proof, you'll see it in. I think you'll see it in Ragnarok, and I think Time and Tide or Stormbound. You'll see it. It's like the biggest. It's 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 another planet killer. It's the United Federation planet killer. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty big fucking shit. And the sad thing about it, you won't even see too many people have it. That's that damn boy exclusive. I mean, you just had to be, you just have to be around whenever they bring that lock box out. You know what I mean? Because each, each time of the year, they have a certain time of year that you can get them lock boxes mixed in with like new, newer box, newer lock boxes. Like I said, I got, I got one of the newest ships out right now. Like, and it's a must have ship, like you're going to spend millions for. We're gonna spend millions for this shit. But that's the ship to have right now. It's, that's the exclusive ship to have right now. And they do have a Hark ship out of the swarm. The Herc. You get a Herc ship too out of the swarm lockbox. Swarm log box, you'll get a hurt. And the only fucked up thing about it is, I think I gotta go to the lock boxes to get these emitters. The Calvin timeline phaser emitters. They the X's. If they were at least the 11's, I'd be able to upgrade them. But since they're just X's, I can't upgrade them. Because they're X's, they're like shit that just comes with the ship normally. Like, if you notice, these gold ones, I turned these ones all the way, I maxed these bitches out. Um, I can't do shit with these, so I have to get some more lock boxes. Hopefully, I can get, you know, 11 or 12s in both a turret and an emitter phaser dual cannon. So I can upgrade them. Can't upgrade the X's. Like I can upgrade these, but I use I really don't use these all like that. So that's why I don't got them upgraded. Like if you notice, I on this ship I use cannons and torrents. Like for world for world. As soon as I get another um torrent, I'm gonna have three torrents on the bottom. As soon as I get another cannon, I'm going to have all cannons up there. See, I ain't got no cannons. 
in that genre, you got to get them out the lockboxes. The weapons. So you see how they do that shit too? Oh yeah, we gonna give you the shit, but you're also gonna spin on them lock boxes for the weapons. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, fuck you. But yeah, it's a pretty tight shit, man. It definitely is. I mean, it, it's, it's a T6 shit. You know what I mean? And I mean, you, you, you know... You have to buy T6 shit regardless. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're going to spend coins on them regardless. There's not one T6 shit you're going to get without spending on it. You feel me? I don't know if you remember that. Like, the T5s, they'll give us T5s all day. Get that. I mean, and plus we got some shit opened up in our our star base, the fleet star base. So you get these, the Aquarius destroyer and S escort retrofit. They get they you can uh, get the patrol escort with eighty thousand dollars and uh, we should be able to get the tactical escort retrofit. T5, we can get the heavy cruiser retrofit, the long range science vessel retrofit. I mean, that's what we can get because we didn't, you know, got our points up in the fleet. So we can get um, Odyssey Star Cruiser. I mean, it ain't going to be like the tactical or one of them cruisers, but. You, uh, like you're gonna have that lieutenant slot that you would on the Odyssey, and you don't have like the other abilities. They just give you the standard um, patrol escort, reconnaissance science vessel, star cruiser. We could get the research science vessel retrofit, science vessel retrofit. Yeah, tactical escort retrofit. Yeah, now it's all T5s. But you see what I'm saying, bro? We get a lot of ships, man. But that's just T5. Now, let me see something. Now, if I go into T6 fleet. Yeah, I was gonna say we can even get a T6, but no. So you see what I'm saying? Any any T6 ship, man, you're gonna have to buy. I mean, you can you can max them out to a T5U. So that's a good thing. But the T5U was like a T6, like it's just like right underneath a T6. It's just like body gear, right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely is like modern gear. But again.
again, like I said, bro. That's why you see me, uh, in my, um, my, my reputation marks up. Like my gamma, I'm on my way as soon as I get to tier 3 and unlock. I think the deflectors or something, I'll be able to uh, get that. But the Romulan, though, man, that's like, I think is one of the best um, weapon where you can get the... They got some good gear too. The Romulan. The reputation gear. That shit is pretty tight. I got me enough to get like one of those. But I'm trying to uh get all that temporal shit. I don't know. Temporal and gamma. The gamma I wanna try fucking with that like the ones that I wanna get the gear. So far the temporal Iconian, cause I got the Delta gear. Got the Delta. So. I think that's what I got on the USS Deja Vu. It's the Del Delta Lies gear. Hey, that shit brings my stats up. Listen up. The war has not. Penguins are great, that makes him more farmers. Yeah, but the, it, it really don't matter for World War II better farming. It's if you're going to farm it. Like, uh, if you get the lock boxes, you can get the, uh, I forget what kind of veins they are, but they're like the high veins. You get a lot, a lot more than a regular. Here they come. Mine for that shit. This guy says the Klingons are great down lithium morphine. Because you know how some guys. We're prepping for evac of non essential personnel and civilians. Because 
they don't even have to touch you. They ain't even gotta put one beam on you to fuck you up. <laughs> and the science, them science officers ain't no joke. Science officer, the science vessels, evacuation but the engineers. I get it. a lot of the T six ones with the versa, the We're universal, one universal slots, man. Slots are the best. I don't care what ship you got, you got universal slots. You're gonna dominate. Yeah, bro. Whenever I do that. Whenever he does that disappear move, he shoots out numbers for speed with torpedo sprays every time he works like that. That's what I love about that move. He'll just zone on you and it's a wrap. <laughs> it's gonna get like five torpedo sprays and you don't even know which way they coming. I even go stuck. That's what they got. Don't got to carry your. You got to carry your slip, don't you? Yeah, you definitely can't repair like crazy with the edge in there. Shoot, hey Patrick. I mean, hey, if you get down on the STU, man, you can have me. Dollar just key, man. I'm on this thing, man. But I'm by hours. That's my job, I work. I'm on early morning, so if you ever really want to catch me. This is Andor. Our shields are taking hits, and we can use an escort. I got buffs for that. All that going at the same time. I got buffs for that, bro. I got buffs for energy torpedoes. I got buffs for that. And like I said, I got my squad. With this ship, I got my squad out there. But do something right. You already remember how I play. I take them shields down. Yeah, but all my weapons, well, don't let me get my ship. My ship is going to take your shield down so fast. You ain't even going to be able, by the time you pop your first ability, bro, your shield is done. You're on straight haul, bro. And I'll take you down so fast on your haul. Don't be like, dude. Now, like I said, this one I ain't got on the mastery level yet. So, I, ain't got, I ain't got that ability that I want yet. But you got remember, man, I got these T6 ships, bro. You still on them T5s, man. Yeah, I was fighting real much my T3. Yeah, but now you gotta remember, you got you gotta remember since I know how to me, since since I know just like you know how to turn this shit out, man. I got this shit still turned out. So you'll be like, damn, bro, like, my Dreadnought is way stronger and lasts a lot longer than the AI Dreadnought.
says, damn. <laughs> Patrick, you gotta add me, man. We gotta be on here, man. Shit. This shit is something else. You don't want to see my, my bitch, though, man, look. My bitch. Look, my bitch. The beams. The beams itself, bro. You're not finding no beams. is doing 417 DPS, bro. These are beams. My beams are doing just as much as my dual beams. And my dual beams, you know the duals will always hit a little harder. And my dual beams is hitting 450 DPS. And just my regular beams is hitting 417. 420. 420. The torts are low, right? I got them 13s. I didn't even do anything with my torts, but when I do, here you go. Since you want to talk crap, right? I got my missile. I didn't tweak my missile launcher up. Why you want to talk crap? My missile is hitting that 4,000 kinetic damage. Over four and a half that over four and a half thousand kinetic damage and hitting for 771 DPS. That's coming from the average two thousand kinetic damage torpedo. With a two hundred and seventy-three DPS. That's coming from you get what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, when I bring out my bitch, bro, I'm hitting the Hard, like <laughs> man, hard. I mean, you gotta remember, even on my uh, see, just like my other bitch, my other bitch. Once I get the mother cannons up there, man, I'm hitting that 723. My cannons are hitting that 723, 740, and my turret is doing 385. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you, I'm taking your shield off so fast. Like, it's, 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 it's going to be off. As soon as you can even think, like, oh shit, my shield is off. And like I said, if I have my pitch with my torpedoes and I hit my torpedo spread, oh man, you're going to be down to like 30%, bro, before you can even get off a really good ability. <laughs> Crazy. Let me see my master level on this one. Cause I'm still trying to get that. that anonymity for that. Almost. Five more thousand. Damn there's six thousand. Experience and I unlock my final tier of this shit. See what I'm saying though, bro? I'm telling you, I've been, I've been putting in some work since I've been missing and shit. And like I said, yo, you go and break out, you go be like, yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. And that shit go out, go boom. You're gonna be like, wow, I didn't even do shit to him. Like, 
like you missing out on the uh, specialization traits. You know, like that's what I love about this shit. Like all these skills gives you an edge in the fight. I got the entropic amplification, increased DOT damage.
Hey, bro, I'll be back. <clears throat>